holiday attire. So that means we have the opportunity at the end of the year now to go back into the archives and play you some of the uh, highlights from that particular month. Hey guys, Brian with WorkshopAddict.com and today we're going to take a look at Milwaukee Tools new Packout Radio and Battery Charger, model number 2950-20. And if you're into the Milwaukee Packout system or not, if you're just looking for a great radio, we're going to go over this guy, compare it to a couple other models, show you some of the sound differences that you might see in an interesting way. I think that's pretty cool. And also just give you an idea of what you're getting in this package. Now, to start out, if you're in the packout system, this dude connects to your packout boxes just like any other box. Underneath this front handle is where your release lever would be. This unit stands out to me because it has a normal cord. No battery adapter, no transformer in this cord. So the cord is wrapped up on the outside and it's sitting over here next to a bottle opener. On the other side, you have a container that includes the auxiliary input, a USB power that is 2.1 amps in a compartment that will hold a M12 battery. And you can sneak most of your phones in here. If you don't have the battery, it's a lot easier to put your phone in and charge it. If you have the battery in here, it's a little bit tough to get a larger phone in with something like a charger stuck into the end. There's a rubber gasket around that, so it's gonna keep water and dust out, which is the important part. You have four speakers here, two in the front, two in the back, but you also have a subwoofer that is in the direct back of this. We're gonna go into that a little bit more, but the con to that is where they placed the on and off button. I have constantly turned that on when I'm removing it from the packout boxes or if I'm carrying it. It's pretty sensitive, it works good. Just like the other Milwaukee uh, radios, this is also your volume button. I guess it's a great time to get into some of the front. There is an equalizer on here so you can turn the bass up and down and the treble up and down. That's huge on a box like this because a lot of them allow a little bit of adjustment but it doesn't really make a lot of difference but on this dude it does you can also put in nine presets you got am fm again auxiliary and bluetooth bluetooth connection is right up front with that button the bluetooth connection has been awesome for me we can walk around the shop i've used it at home through multiple rooms very strong and good connection with this and i think that's Another thing that they added to go into as far as connections is this antenna. Flat out, we can get all the radio stations inside the shop with our lights going without issue, and we can't get that when you compare it to some of the other models. So for you guys who like listening to the radio, indoors, have something around, it doesn't always work, this guy will pick it up. So if you're going to use this as a battery charger with or without the radio on, Milwaukee states it will charge batteries from 0 to 100% in 30 to 185 minutes. So this is a slow charger that's in here, probably one amp to maybe one and a half amps. It's not going to be anything comparable to the fast chargers that Milwaukee has out, but it is a huge bonus that you can use this to charge batteries or charge the battery that's in it back up while it is plugged in. I absolutely love that fact. You can also use this to stack other packouts on top of it. I kind of missed that before. So you can stack packouts under it, stack packouts on top of it. This thing really was designed well and they really thought about everything that we've all complained about as far as radios and how they work and what happens with them. So I wanted to go in and compare this to the DeWalt T-Stack because that seems to be one of the better sounding radios that's out there as far as a full range of sound quality. And to do this, I struggled a little bit trying to say, how can I say this sounds better than that without proving it? So I wanted to go in and just do a base test complete as to what you would see if you put this Milwaukee pack out next to the much smaller DeWalt T-Stack. And it becomes pretty clear off the beginning that the downward facing subwoofers in the T-Stack definitely help it out in this test. But there's a 
definite sound difference that I'm hearing also. So while I went through it, I just did a bunch of different songs, kind of seeing you know different genres of what people are gonna listen to. And eventually the T-Stack started actually vibrating the bottle around the table, which obviously is significant for bass. And I had to move the packout system and stand it up so that the subwoofers were facing down to somewhat get fairly close to the same Actually, I really didn't get that close, but I sort of got close to the same amount of bass coming out. There is a great sound quality out of this packout unit. It's loud, very loud, loud enough that uh, you could be building the house, hear it from one end to the other, no issue there. The bass to me is not quite as clear or as strong as what you'll find in the T-Stack. Just my opinion. I'm not disappointed in it at all. It's here, it's, I don't think they have as large of subwoofers inside the system as what they do in the T-Stack. Although you will find this Milwaukee Packout radio to be very heavy compared to other radios. I'm not really sure why, if there's a, a difference between what they put in here with the charger, if it's because there's the battery or the corded adapter is inside, so we don't have a transformer on the outside. But the first thing that I think I noticed when I picked this up is like, wow, there's some weight here. So the internals must be quite robust for what you have. So I'm hoping that that means this is gonna last for a very, very long time. Other than that, as long as you're using this for putting it on a pack out, I think it's great. If you're gonna just pick this up as, hey, I want a Milwaukee radio, there's no rubber pads on the bottom. So when you set this guy down, it'll just slide around just like plastic on something that's hard. Not that that's a huge deal, but for the guys that don't have the pack out system, I think it's something to look at. Also beyond that, carry handle works great. Like I said, it is easy to push that on and off button if you have the battery on the inside. You do have some batteries in here to keep your presets, to keep your clock going the way it is. You can operate your phone via the pause, play, forward and reverse buttons that are on the front. I think that's a huge deal. And you do have a LED system here that tells you what's happening as far as your battery charging, just like you would see on any other charger. Love it. Absolutely love it. Downside, it's heavy. Upside, sounds good, really loud. I think you gotta look at what you're gonna use it for. If you're gonna put this on top of a group of pack up boxes that has wheels, the, the weight of this is not that big of a deal. If you're gonna carry this around constantly and just throw it in places because you want a Milwaukee radio, it's nice and loud, but the weight of it, I think eventually, and having to throw it around inside a truck is going to dent these screens up. I look at these screens as kind of like what we had on our radios 20 years ago over the speakers. They're great, they're gonna dent up, they're gonna rust up, they're gonna scratch up, but I think putting this on a pack out system as it was designed is what's gonna keep this thing working well and allow you to move it around without much issue. So, if you have any questions, Make sure you leave them in the bottom. Love the questions, love the comments. I tried to do everything I could to go over all the things in it and give you an idea of exactly what it's gonna do for sound quality. I know it's hard via the computer in a video. I think most people are gonna be more than thrilled with the sound quality, although if you're the guy that really likes bass, this doesn't kick it as much as some of the other ones do, but at that same realm, if you're looking at this, you probably have other Milwaukee batteries and the Milwaukee packout system, so I don't think it makes that much of a difference. So we always appreciate your time, guys. Give us a like in this video, subscribe to the channel. As always, have a great day.